Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spelunky on the quest to kill King Yammer. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, first things first before we get underway, my throat is a little bit raspy as I'm sure you can hear. That is because I am just coming off of the tail end of a bit of illness. I have uh, been ill these past few days, I'm just coming off the tail end of it now. And essentially I, I just needed to get some recording done. Uh, I haven't got any videos, you know. I've already had a week off due to due to illness, and now I now need to get back into recording so that there's something going on for the next week. And at the moment, I don't have a whole lot, so here's what I'm doing now: just recording a little bit, nothing too hard, nothing too strenuous. We're just gonna do 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 a little bit of video making, and hope everything goes well. So, like I say, I apologise for my voice being a little bit raspy. And I apologise if I have to clear my throat a little bit more than usual. I will try and keep it to a minimum. And if I do need to do it, I will try and pause the video so that you don't have to put up with a whole video of me going <laughs> and all, all of that sort of nonsense. So it's uh, it's presumably down to the fact that winter's on its way around now, uh, as I'm sure the uh, the meme analysts are, are saying, brace yourselves, winter's coming, and all that malarkey. Not that I'm in touch. Ooh, a bomb box. That's a good thing to get. Followed by a bomb bag as well. And of course, we got the bomb paste. That's pretty damn good. But what was I saying? Yes, winter's on the way in. Autumn's on the way out. Winter's turning around now. We've got some spectacles. Relatively obsolescent by the introduction of the UJI a little bit later on. But for now, at least they'll do the job. Anyway, yes. Autumn's on its way out, winter's on the way in, which means that now illness is beginning to ripple through the communities of the world, which is a little bit of an issue, because then it results in problems like this, and when you do this sort of thing, when you do video making for the internets and stuff, it turns out that a raspy voice really isn't what the doctor ordered. Not that the doctor often orders a raspy voice, I can't think of many incidences where he has said... You know what? A raspy voice will do justice right here. Oh, good throw! Nicely done, Van Helsing. Two rubies and some more bomb paste for our efforts as well. That's what I'm talking about. We'll save that statue. We may come back for it, but I don't want it to go charging through a shopkeeper's shop. That's the uh, that's the downside. The idol in the mines is actually a really kind of rubbish idol to have, in my opinion. <clears throat> Excuse me, apologies. It's, you know, I mean, obviously it's worth a good amount of money and stuff, but the amount of damage it causes to the level is cataclysmic. And, you know, it's oftentimes, you know, especially at this early stage in the game, in the mines, it's oftentimes a, um, a mistake that you can't really afford to make. So, I don't really like it. I don't mind going and grabbing the other idols, though. They're a lot easier and a lot less devastating to the geography of the level but as it stands the the idols here in the mines are probably my least favorite to get and probably the ones I would oh probably the ones I'm least inclined to get what I'm always inclined to go for though are the power up crates like that I always always aim for power up crates if I can get them without expending stupid amounts of resources I will go for them that was probably a borderline amount of resources. You know, two ninja ropes there. I mean, I can justify it, you know. I'll, I'll spend two there because it was my mistake. I'm sure with a bit more aim and precision, I probably could have done that with only spending the one rope. But otherwise, I'm, I'm not too bothered about it. It's just a little bit of an inconvenience. Lovely. On to 1-3. Into the mines we go. We have the Uji Eye. The first step on our quest to getting to King Yammer. The final, final boss of Spelunky. It's still a long way off yet. I mean, we've got to make it to hell first, and that's certainly no picnic, let me assure you of that fact. I wonder if oh, the bat's probably too far out. Can I wing him around? Oh, I can. Look at that. Pro skills. Let's push this down. Oh, I'm going to blow up that gold if I do that. Let's grab the gold then, and work out a different solution. Presumably involving this pot right here. Because then what we can do is 
work our way around like this and hopefully ah that didn't quite work um, well um, hmm, let's just nudge <laughs> and blow that up we don't really have a way back out of there without using a rope though so we're just gonna have to make do and go this way around oh that was dumb that was really dumb I should have been able to avoid that bit of damage but I guess the important fact is that I didn't we'll use this snake to get back up to that sapphire or we won't I didn't like sapphires anyway I much prefer the rubies because the rubies are worth the most amount of money of the gems in this game I don't know if that's accurate in real life I'm not a gem smith I don't know a jeweler oh, God. Oh, that was stupid this is not gonna end well I can already feel this run is probably gonna end quite tragically as if there's any other way for it to end in Spelunky but I have spied my prize right here thank you good sir good stuff the jetpack is on my must-have uh, list of shopping now in Spelunky always on the lookout for a jetpack and it seems to be the case that I have been gifted with one. Oh, we could put the scorpion on there for a sacrifice. Nice. I wasn't quite aware of the rest of the danger that was approaching me. But it doesn't matter. We dealt with it appropriately. Calmly and concisely. Oh, a compass. Nice. We can make use of this compass. Let's spawn the ghost in. Over on the, on the right hand side. So that we have a bit of time over here on the left. And I would ordinarily buy the bomb box as well, but I think I'm going to leave it on this occasion because I've already got quite a few. Onwards and forwards. Where are we now? 1-4? Yes, we are. Okay. That's good. I'm just going to nudge this over the edge. And how am I going to do this? Hmm. Maybe something like that. Oh! Ow! Fudge. This is really terrible. I need to really pull my finger out, otherwise this run is in the pits. Uh, I'm going to bomb my way through there because I'm not sure what the powder box is reacting. See, why did that blow up? <laughs> why did that happen? <laughs> the powder box is reacting. I, I didn't need another compass, but thank you anyway. I don't even know what it, that was that blew up, but I, I'm fairly sure it didn't need to. Oh wow, a lot of stuff going on down there. Not all of it good, at least for the creatures involved. That scorpion there. The scorpions are dangerous, man. I've never, I've never come across a scorpion and t not taken damage from it. I've always suffered at the hands of the scorpion in some way. Yep, there he goes. There's that. I could push that over the edge, but that's probably not a wise choice. Let's put that there. Oh, it's a hired help shop. That's not really what I'm after. The hired help shop, I think, is probably only good if you've got a Kali statue on the level, because I think they're worth a decent amount of favour if you sacrifice them. That was not what I want, wanted to do. But yeah, I don't think there is a Kali statue on this level. I think if there was, we'd have found it by now. That is a very devious arrow trap. I need something to set that off because if I try and go for that, the rock in front of it, it's going to set off. And right now, I don't trust my position to be able to whip it out of the air. So, I'm sorry, Pugsy, but it looks like you're for the shot. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. That was uncalled for, but necessary. What? Well, what was I going to do there? <sighs> this is a tough game, Yoshi. Who's this fella? Ham! <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, Ham. I can't do an impression of Ham from Toy Story. John Lasseter. That was his name, wasn't it? I think it was. Uh, but Oh. Well, that's that. That's it. Nothing more. Just a sigh. Unbelievable. 
How do you die to a blue frog, man? That's not a way to go. I'll tell you what, earlier I had the death of the century. When it comes to stupid deaths, they don't get much more stupid than this. I was in the ice caves and a landmine exploded on the other side of the map. Assumedly a yeti trod on it or something. A web gun came flying at me from the other side of the screen, hit me and knocked me into the bottomless abyss. Of all the ways to go, that is not the one. I've also heard that picking up and putting your bomb back down after you've placed it makes the explosion a little bit more powerful. I haven't really seen much evidence of that being the case. So I, I think I'm gonna ignore that theory now. Never mind. Got a bit of gold going. Hopefully we get a, a decent enough item start like we did last time. Getting the jetpack that early on is quite good. It can uh, put you in good stead for the rest of the run. Although, just because you have the debt, the debt pack, <laughs> that's an entirely different item. Just because you have the jetpack doesn't absolve you of stupid gameplay, however. If you still play poorly, you're still going to die. Maybe it's just because I'm playing as Van Helsing. There's a reason why I don't play as Van Helsing. What have we got? Anything interesting in here? Well, a little bit, but nothing I can... I'll take the climbing gloves for now. I may be back for that bomb box a bit later. We shall see. If not, not to worry. I'm doing okay for bombs at the moment, really. Oops. I did just try and use the jetpack there. I double tapped Z to try and activate it. And then was a bit confused as to why nothing happened. Hmm. Why would that be? Maybe because you haven't got one. That is the one thing, actually, I do like about having lost my voice. You can get a very good boomy voice out of it. Very authoritative and very kind of... Nope, not what I wanted. <sighs> well. <laughs> oh man, look how many times I've died. Okay, last go. Unless we have a similarly poor run. Did I die on 1-1 one, one, was that? Can I check? No, probably not. I died on 1-1. One, one. Man, that's embarrassing. No one dies on 1-1. One, one. I saw kids playing Super Mario World once. Uh, not Super Mario World, the first Super Mario Brothers game. Which, I, you know, I'm sure everyone has played because it's the first Super Mario Brothers game and everyone has played it. Right, so these kids were playing it. And there was a whole bunch of them that died on 1-1. One, one. Okay, right? Which, you know, isn't too much of a disappointment you know sometimes it, it can be quite challenging not everyone's good at platformers you know it's it's not necessarily a bad thing what is bad is that some of these kids were dying to the very first Goomba that you come across that is literally the easiest thing in the entire world to avoid what's even more demoralizing is that there were a couple of the kids who died to it twice Okay, I've heard of making the same mistake twice and being a bit silly and all that. But to that Goomba, to make that mistake twice? That's a bit... silly. Isn't it? I think it is. So yeah, this thing I'm carrying was responsible for my embarrassing and untimely demise not so long ago. But it's okay, we seem to have made friends again now. And he seems quite happy to just... Oh, fudging spider. Quite happy to just sit here and shoot webs when I need them. Also a very good arrow trap disarming tool. Now, I am wondering... I thought that would happen! <laughs> I apologise for the damage you incurred there, my fair lady. Uh, but it was necessary for science. And as long as it's for science, it's perfectly justifiable and okay. The only problem is, I can't just let her wander off hopelessly in front of that arrow trap by the exit, otherwise she will die. She's already taken one hit point of damage, damsels have three, the arrow traps take off two. Three minus one minus two is the same as three minus three, both sums equaling zero, and when you hit zero hit points, as is the same with quite a lot of video games, you die. Right, let's do this now. Nothing of great value really in the shop. 
I could steal the teleporter. <laughs> I could steal the teleporter. But I won't. Because I'm I'm um I'm wary. <laughs> I'm wary of stealing the uh, I'm gonna put the the standard HUD on for some reason. Just wanna change it up a bit. But yes, I'm <clears throat> wary of A stealing from shopkeepers and B stealing the teleporter from shopkeepers <laughs> because of how reckless the teleporter can be. It's a very dangerous tool. As I'm sure I've shown on camera once or twice, but do not wish to continue to repeat on camera. Oh, good catch, Van Helsing. She's going to wander off that way. Uh, I could take that, actually. We may come back for that. Because... Oh, wow. That's a relatively harmless idol to get because the shop is above it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ah! Oh. Well, that didn't go well. Oh, no. I am playing all sorts of bad today. Like, on the scale of naught to terrible, I am substandard. Maybe I'm just getting a bit too cocky, you know. I had a really good run earlier. I broke into the shopkeeper's vault and got the ghost to drive... Uh, not drive, but hover over all of the gems that was in the vault. And I must have picked up, like... I don't know, 14 diamonds or something, which is a hell of a lot. Like, you know... Considering each diamond's worth 5,000, 14 times 5 is what? Mathematicians, help me out here. What are we looking at? 60, 70, 70,000? Which is a hell of a lot of money. I'm gonna die. I'm okay! Oh, I nearly died. But I'm okay! <laughs> can I get those gold nuggets? I can. And these ones? I can. Ah, there's some more there. Good. Please don't have stopped in a stupid place. Well, that's okay. And then I can hop. Oh, I can put that in there, but I... Oh. Okay. Okay, that's not going to work. I need a new ninja rope. Man, that's a lot of ninja ropes wasted on that level. If I come across a shop with some ninja ropes, I may need to buy some more. Assuming we make it that far to do some business. I mean, this is where it's all going to go wrong. Let's get rid of the scorpion. I don't want him causing any more bother than what he's going to. That big spider there. Yep, I need you to jump out so that I may spike shoe you to death. And you may, of course, kick me to death in the process as well. It's only fair, after all, I am but a rubbish spelunky player, after all. And you had already been set off. Oh, the scorpion. Oh, easy. Get out of town, my friend. I do not need you. That's it. That's a good place for you to sit, because then you are absolutely harmless to everyone ever. Anyone else who plays it? Oh, oh, stupid powder box, man. They're so volatile. And even though I kind of know what sets them off, they're still so unpredictable. That bat. I need you over here before I make any more progress. There's a gold nugget for me. What's down here? Let's grab that golden bar. Oh, spikes. Easy. The problem is I have the run button held down all the time because I like to make progress quickly. What? Oh! I meant to pick that up. Ah, oh, spider bite. Well... That's going to do us for today. I've had three runs. They've all been abysmal. I think that probably indicates that I've uh, I've done my time. So we're just going to run into the temple because why not? Hey, let's start on a freaking dark level in the temple. After the kinds of runs I've been having, this only seems like the fairest option. And there's Anubis right there as well. Man, this seems like a fair game. 
Yep, that's not going to happen. Let's try again. Ooh. So this is the temple's idol. And in order to get through here, you just kind of need to... blow a hole in the floor or something once you pick up the idol. But it does keep moving down. Any bits that don't get stuck, that is. So you can't always put a fudge hole in the floor. Wow, man, I probably shouldn't be playing Spelunky anymore today. Let's just have another quick go. There's Anubis. What's further down into the temple? Full damage! Full damage lies below. Them thwomp traps really are devious. <laughs> well, that was easy. But it wasn't, was it really? It wasn't real easy. This was fake. Because obviously I haven't put in any effort into this. This is just me shortcutting my way to the end. Yep. That's definitely the way. Oh, great. Now I'm going to get mummy flyed to death for the rest of my life. Okay, never mind. That's going to be the end of today's episode of Spelunky. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, then do feel free to leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the episode. All of your support is greatly appreciated. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time. Have a good day. Take care of yourselves. I love you. Bye.